So welcome everybody. I'm glad you all showed up. Thanks for. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna get on camera too. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get in and out of camera. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> you all should have been here, but we're gonna use the power of video so you can start using more video. We're really talking about rehumanizing our business today, um, bringing back you all into some of the faceless digital communication we've been relying on for so long, and. Of course, during the social distancing time, we're going to talk about closing in that gap so that we can really get face-to-face -face with people in the best way without actually being face-to-face, -face, being on video. So rehumanizing our real estate business, that's what we're talking about. So the, the really, oh, well, we missed that one. But what it said was the end of faceless digital communication, meaning we're going to talk about some ways to supplement some of the stuff that we're already doing, like emails and texts that are very impersonal, you know, people are, are fiending to see somebody right now and to, to be in connection with you. And what was your name? Chris. Chris? Mm -hmm. All right, Chris. Thank you for being the, our, our video leader here today <laughs> and, and, and having success with it. So we need you to continue putting out that vibe because, as you notice, other agents are extremely reluctant to use video. Let me ask a question. I got a question. I'm going to do some Q&A here, and then you can ask me some questions later. What would you rather have? Would you rather have 10,000 likes on a video or would you like to have a $10,000 commission from one extra s transaction? What would you rather have? This should not be a stumper. <laughs> I was hoping that it wouldn't be. <laughs> Who wants the commission? All right, that's what I figured. So let's stop aiming towards likes and whatnot and, and judging our effectiveness with video with the likes that we're getting we're gonna we're gonna be building so that we can create an audience that's gonna do business with us because if it wasn't for business I would not be doing half the videos that I do or the majority of them on my social media there's no point I want people to know me to do more business I'm not doing it for vanity and some people might say well I don't know Ryan you seem to like your videos I enjoy doing videos because they've been extremely extremely powerful in my business and in my life and I want that for you guys. So my little quote here, video gives every real estate agent the chance to get face to face. And in my mind, that's a winning strategy. It really is. Take down this quote. Remember this. Don't forget this is an important quote. I'm talking to you all in the camera too. This is very important. You, you, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. So you've got to get started. Don't expect to be great and look at all those people that have been using video for years now. And you're trying to catch up with their chapter 19 on your chapter one. Don't do it. But you do have to start to be great with this video thing. Uh, I want to give you a few apps. And I want to come back. And I really want to show you guys how to use this. I'm not just going to tell you what apps to use. Uh, with, with Team 54 and the collaborate. if you collaborate with Milestone Title, I want to come back and make sure we do hands-on training. Because if I just leave you to download an app, you're not going to use it most likely. But I'm going to come back and show you how to edit the most amazing videos right from your phone. This is the best one. And it is worth every penny of the $35 for a full year. It is the easiest drag and drop mobile editing that I have ever used. And I've used all of them. I really love Video Leap. And they keep adding features. It's really, really great. Uh, Anchor.fm, if you're wanting to get into a podcast, I just want to bring that out there because this is extremely easy to start getting your voice out there. I get leads still, people that call me for a, a podcast that I made like three episodes with like four years ago. I just got a call like two months ago on it. So you guys could make some real headway and give an information on podcasts. Anchor.fm, free and easy. Canva, who's using Canva? I know you're using Canva. You're probably using it all. You, But... Uh, I'm probably also going to do a class on Canva as well. You can do some amazing things with Canva. And just a quick, trip, quick tip on Canva. On Instagram, Instagram loves video. All the platforms love video. Canva, instead of just posting a photo on your Instagram, you're going to get a lot more likes, a lot more attention by going into Canva and turning that picture into an animated video. It's very easy to do. But that's going to allow the algorithms to get more people seeing your post than just posting a photo. Turn the photo you was already going to use and just put some animated text on it and it turns it into a video and automatically that's going to get you more exposure immediately. 
So just, and it doesn't even have to change much. It'll still be a still photo with the animated uh, titles, and that'll actually turn it into a video. Kindmaster, for those of you on Androids, by the way, who's, who in here has an Android? Okay. It's Christmas is coming up. So you could ask Santa for, uh, for an iPhone anytime. But that's depending on if you've been nice this year. Okay, the equipment. Well, maybe next year. Have you tried uh, NVIDIA? What's that? NVIDIA. NVIDIA? Yeah, yeah NVIDIA is great. That's another one that should have been up on the list because it really gives you the easy way to set the ratios. Yeah. Do you, have you used NVIDIA? I, I just heard about it the other day. I saw someone who does a lot of um, YouTube, Instagram stuff. Yeah. Yeah, NVIDIA is real good. NVIDIA. Simple and easy. Similar thing I've been using is uh, Over. Over? I don't know about that one. Add, add pictures and, and it yeah. resizes it if you're going to put it on Instagram or Facebook. That kind of thing. That's the good thing. That's what I like about NVIDIA, and I'm glad that does it too. Most of them are, is you know, making it the proper ratio because different, you know, as you know, different platforms. You've got that TV screen size, that 16 by 9, and then you've got the 4.3 your, you know, squares and all that. And they, they all are for different platforms and whatnot. I want to talk about some equipment because this all needs to be on your Christmas list. And I'll make sure I get centered here so the people on the video can see it. You need, I want you to get a tripod, $18. Best Buy. I've had this for years. It's a little janky here. It's getting, the, you can tell it's $18 at this point, but it's still working really great. This is going to be no excuses for not having someone to help you film and whatnot. You know, get uh, a tripod, $18 at Best Buy. This is the Sunpack 5858DLX. You can probably get it on Amazon for, you know, 18 20 bucks. And it's going to have your cell phone holder on it. Get yourself a tripod. It's easy to pack up, put it in the corner of the office, push it into the car. Um, but that's $18. So I'm going I'm I'm to keep your inventory as low as possible. The other thing, too, who's got, who's got a smartphone within the last two years? Like, not older than two years old. So you got to Android. At least you got it. It's a recent Android. That's good. <laughs> That's good. But this right here, I highly recommend this. You have to have this. You, you need a gimbal. No more shaky footage. Now, I know you can still make a great impact with, with, with shaky video because like my friend Va Veronica Figueroa said, my crappy video will beat your non-existent video every single time and create more exposure for myself, create emotional connections. This right here though, this is going to be where you place your phone on it and it stabilizes your footage, it's so easy. A double click, it'll go from portrait mode to landscape mode, meaning up and down to horizontal. And this is gonna be something that you can hold out, it's gonna keep everything stabilized because people are used to non-shaky footage at this point. They're, they're not used to the, you know, those days are over. We gotta get a little more production value and quality when we're using our videos. This is $100. You can get one of these because the Osmo Mobile 4 just came out, which is great too, but this is the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 and it's my favorite, um, uh, very compact too. Look, ladies, you can put this in your purse. This bottom part comes off. You could, I mean, it's as big as my little hands. Whose purse is that? <laughs> I don't know. Mary Poppins? Yes. But this too, with the DJI app, you can, again, you don't, you don't need someone else following you. Uh, you know, for walkthroughs or while you're in an open house or whatnot, you can easily put this down in DJI's app. It'll track you. And I'll show you guys how to do that in other classes. I'm not going to be able to teach you everything today, but I plan on coming back and doing more hands-on showing you guys exactly step-by-step step how to do a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about. But on the app, you're going to be able to put a square around yourself and then move her out. So if you're at an open house, you don't need anyone there with you. Uh, so it, it'll follow you and track you. And that's going to be really, really advantageous. So the tracking alone is awesome. It's compact. And you really want to get that stabilized footage. Um, but I'm also going to show you an app. It's called Filmic Pro. If you want to take a note of that, because I don't think I put it on the slide. But Filmic Pro is really, really great. It's just a few dollars, and it has a sta digital stabilization button on it um, that'll actually, if you don't have a gimbal, will help your footage to stay stable. It's a really great feature. I love it for just that feature alone. Uh, it really it changes it changes the quality when you're watching it. People turn off videos where they're they're in like you know an earthquake or whatnot. Nobody wants to see that anymore. They can't handle it. Um, or some more equipment here. Okay. So the other thing too is. Video is awesome, 
And once you get the video part down, which is where we're really diving into today, you got to have good audio. So I highly recommend getting yourself an external mic. Let me get the other mics too. I'm going to give you the cost. I wish I had an affiliate link for all this. Send you guys buy this. Here, use my affiliate link. Prices too? Yes, this is $49.99. But the good thing about this is this is a, uh, it, this, I found this is the best deal I found on Amazon from Hotec. It's got two receivers. No, it's got one receiver and two transmitters here. You've got your, uh, uh, you know, I haven't used this yet, but it goes around your head. So, you know, you, you got that look. And then it has your normal lapel mics that you can just put on here. Audio is very, very important um, along with video. I, I sometimes consider it even more important than video sometimes. The audio, um, now keep in mind, I'm going to talk about this in a slide, but sometimes I jump ahead. 85% of the videos being watched are without sound a lot of the time. So majority of videos, that's why I want to come back, do an editing class, and show you guys how to use uh, titles and how to use uh, auto captions and whatnot. Uh, if you have an iPhone, a free app for iPhone is Clips. Clips will automatically put your captions up immediately. So you don't even have to enter them in. Now you can adjust them in case you're speaking and it you know, messes up a word as we always do with this autocorrect and all of that. But it'll automatically capture all that you're saying and it'll have a variety of different styles that'll put your captions on the top, bottom. It'll add different uh, background colors, yellow, red, blue, and all that. But Clips on iOS is awesome. So I always highly recommend um, these Rode mics. Rode is awesome. This is a shotgun mic. So if you use this, shotgun means, if you think about a shotgun, it's going to spray out. So instead of just going forward, it goes a little bit to the left and the right also. So it's good if you're having like interviews or you have someone else with you or just need a good mic that will plug into your phone. Now, you have the advantage on this one because you probably still have a headphone uh, input in there. So you, I'm going to give you some credit today because you got that. So if not, if you got an iOS, you're going to need to use an adapter. You can get this on Amazon really cheap, just a few dollars, and that'll allow you to put it in from the, uh, I don't know, the 1.8 millimeter into the lightning. So that's another thing I would recommend buying. If you're going to start getting into audio, which I really would love if you did, audio and video, they go, they go great together. Uh, another thing, if you have a camera, I wanted to show you something. I really love this product here. It's called Padcaster. It's a teleprompter. So if you have a, an actual camera, this is for those that have a camera. If you're going to use just your tablet or maybe your phone, there's an app called Big View that will allow you to create your own script so you don't have to think about what you're saying at all. I know how difficult it can be to just get in front of a camera and have everything ready to go and uh, just really have engaging content. So you can create that beforehand and use it on the app, you're going, to put it, you're going to put your phone right beneath this, and it's going to actually display all of your words right in front of the camera, so you don't really have to think about it. And it comes with an awesome remote, too, so you can slow it down, make the, make the fonts bigger. It's really, really helpful if you are having trouble, and it's stopping you from using video because you don't know what to say. Use Big View or use something like this if you have a camera uh, to, to have that. I want to tell you guys something. Who, who in here shares like blog articles, maybe from like Simplify the Market and stuff like that? Because, you know, you want some content and you're, you're posting stuff. Have you noticed that nobody's reading those? It, it, it's not getting read. Here's what I suggest. Take the key points out of those articles and create a video about those key points. So if you want to take those key points and put them on Big View or something like this, People are actually going to engage with that and want to watch it. And you can be the highlighter of those articles that you're sharing that nobody's really watching. Now, occasionally some people do, but this gives you an opportunity to have, there's your ideas right there for a, a video. And, I, and by the end of this, I'm going to give you a video that I want all of you to do that's going to get you more business. And it's a great idea. I'll tell you about it here shortly. Buyers and sellers are going to be able to wear this and actually walk through a home without smelling it or hearing it. You might even, actually, you can create sounds, but they're going to be looking at homes, looking up at the chandeliers, looking at the cabinets, walking through the house right here on virtual reality uh, from the, the comfort of their home or their couch. This is, this is we're, we'll talk about that later because it's not here yet, but it's absolutely coming. Uh, and Ross, this is a great camera. In case, this is less than a smartphone, but if anybody did want to invest into a camera, which I highly preach, 
you really don't need because your smartphones are extremely capable. But this Sony with the flip up screen so that you can see yourself when you're doing your videos and also the ability to record for longer than 30 minutes because most cameras do not allow you to do that. It's less than a smartphone uh, with, uh, with a lens, but Sony A6400. Just wanted to throw that out there too. Does that thing have a stabilization in it? It does not. That's, that's one of the things that would, be, that would be the number one camera in the freaking world if it had IBIS, which is in-body in body image stabilization. It does not. But a lot of the lenses have stabilization in the lenses, which help with that. Um, so no, it does not in the body. But if you're keeping it stationary, you don't really need to worry about that or doing photography uh, or doing videos like a vlog style where you're, maybe you're in your office and sending out videos to your clients, which we're going to talk about, you really won't need it. But if you're trying to move around, you're going to need a lens that has that in it because it does not in the body. They're amazing. I can't even believe it. The, the GoPro, like the Hero 9 and the 9 and 10 that's out now or whatnot, you know, even the older ones, the, the, the digital stabilization is crazy. You could be running down the stairs and it'll, it'll just not be shaky at all. Um, coming up with ideas. I, I, I want to hear, like, what are some of the re I need to know this. What are some of the reasons that you're not using video right now? What, tell me. Tell, tell me some reasons that we're not getting into video. So you just got your license. You're just on the team. Really haven't had a, a need to get in front of the camera mm -hmm. or whatnot. I, mean, I want to learn more before. I can't talk about it. Yeah. With... I got some ideas for you. The, the same reason years ago. I hate the way I look and sound in video. Every time I look it over again, I'm like, that sucks. Yeah. That's, that's just, and I redo it, and I redo it like five, ten times, and I'm like, they all suck. So I end up deleting all of them. I love, I love that you feel that way. <laughs> so you don't you see the way that you look and the way that you sound. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Would uh, tell me a time that you would not meet with a client because of how you look and sound. Would you? Would you ever? I know it's a, kind of rhetorical. Right, right. But you would you would never do that. It's the same thing with video. You would you wouldn't not show up to a client or a listing appointment because I'm just not feeling myself today. Which a lot of us don't. I'm not feeling myself all the time. Today was a pretty good day. <laughs> but it's not always like that. But yeah, you think about that. You would never not show up to a listing appointment or something because you're not, you, don't, you sound and look how you look and how you sound. We're going to have to own it right now. Actually, we're going to do it. We're going to do some Tony Robbins stuff. So if I, <laughs> just say, I accept how I look and how I sound. Signed, Ross Vega. Say, I, say it with me. Come on. Accept you accept, how I look, look how I sound. beautiful. Okay, that's the only. See, nobody's. Thank you. Yes. From the girl that's actually using video. You're not, you're not, I don't like myself on camera or via sound. I don't listen. I won't watch my own videos. See, we're not thinking of it. But that's it. We're harsher on ourselves. I'm not going to listen to my videos or anything because I don't like the sound of my voice on video. Yep. My clients watch the videos 400 times. I, I asked one client if he watched it with the sound off because I, I was like, that's how I would watch it. <laughs> like, no, because I, everything that you were saying in the video was relevant. So yes. Who cares what you look and sound like? They're buying a house. They're not trying to take them home. I mean, maybe do it. I don't know. What, I don't know what goes on with your clients. That's, that's like, happen. Okay. That's not a thing. You're always going to be your worst critic. And I literally am going to possibly be creating a class that's strictly about our own worthiness, our own uh, ability to get through all the fear and all that strictly. No, no, it'll be like to do video, but it'll be strictly about getting through the fear, getting through the reluctance, really feeling confident on video. I think that that's needed. I think I got enough information to do that uh, and, and help out. How about ideas? Does anyone wonder, like, what do we even talk about on video? Like, what am I, I going to use? You don't have to rely on what you think is going to be good. Here, this is going to be helpful for you, and i got another suggestion for you as well. But answerthepublic.com will literally give you, uh, you can type in keywords like real estate, and it will give you a wheel of how, what, why, where, when. It will give you a wheel of content of what people are looking up online right now. So you can take the guesswork out of what are people wanting to even know. Answerthepublic.com. Answerthepublic.com. You're going to want to check that out because that's going to 
um, give you the guesswork's out of it. You know what people want. It's going to give you a variety of categories directly related to real estate that you can create content around and put out there. Uh, so the guesswork's done. So no, no more worrying about content. Also, here's something I have for you. Frequently asked questions. Ask a more experienced agent, what are some questions that you get all the time that you have to com- always have to repeat yourself and tell people about? Just ask people, what's your biggest frequently asked questions? Take a few of those down and have them help you with like what and how do we answer that and use that as content to go out there because if it's frequently asked that means a lot of people don't understand it and there's content for you right there of what more seasoned agents are having as frequently asked questions so that's another thing on top of answer the public where you're actually getting information from the public on what they want to hear and see also another class there's a lot to this video thing and making it effective it's it's more than just getting behind the camera because if anyone's tried to build up a Facebook business page, you've noticed that it's, it's, it's tough, right? You're not getting the likes or engagement on your business pages. And the reason why is Facebook is now like it wasn't in 2012. It was very much like TikTok in 2012 or LinkedIn, where there's a lot of organic reach possible. But now it is pay to play. If you are not backing up your videos with ads, you're not going to build up your Facebook business page Just don't even worry about it. Or at least don't take it too seriously because it's not going to happen. I just want to encourage you that don't get discouraged because you're not getting a lot of engagement on your Facebook business page because if you're not putting ads behind those, you're not going to unless you have three minute plus videos that are extremely engaging and they are like a, a dynamic, energetic show that people just can't stand but tune into. If we're just starting in video, we're probably not there yet. Yes. I have a question just because it came up to all my Yeah, I'm good. I love that question. Don't you ever do that. Don't you ever take a YouTube link and post it on. You, you should never see YouTube link anywhere on Facebook because all Facebook's going to do is bury that. They're gonna repost their stuff. They're- There's a title company in here. Mm-hmm. Do you think that they're going to promote my title company? Nah, they're not. And the reason why is because they generate revenue and they, they feed their family. They, YouTube and Facebook are extreme competitors. You posting a YouTube link is going to diminish and bury your engagement. They, they're going to limit people to see that. Because guess what happens when someone clicks that? They leave Facebook. They get out of Facebook. Now, you might have seen recently that when you click on a link that they now have a browser that will pop up within Facebook. But either way, the algorithms are set to diminish your reach on those. So always upload a video directly raw to Facebook or any platform. So when you start making video and content, maybe start out with a long form and then we're going to talk about video editing and cutting those down to put on other platforms. Make sure they go raw, meaning directly to whatever platform that you're using because... You don't want to put competitors up against each other because it's going to limit your reach. There's um, a system. It's called, I'm sure you heard of it, StreamYard. StreamYard, yeah. You can actually go live from Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Yes. It's really great. You can schedule it when to go. So that way, um, if you're going live, you can, can go uh, Facebook live and you can go to YouTube or you can record it to set it. Yes. Uh, the thing is like, 20 bucks a month, and if you interview someone, you can even write your own questions. Yes. It's, I have a Glad you brought that up. And they use it all the time, and they don't have to have the app. It's just a link, and if they don't have like the app for it, they don't need one. Whoever you No, them, just a link. I'm glad you brought that up. Because they can't hear you, I'm going to talk about StreamYard and BeLive.TV. If you're reluctant to get on camera by yourself, maybe think about interviewing some inspectors. Think about interviewing some, some lenders that are in your circle. Think about lend, uh, bringing on some title people. I, I know somebody. And you can do a side-by-side video where you're playing off of each other, asking each other questions, or even just representing the person, one of your vendors, and just really making it not about you and putting all the pressure on the person that you're interviewing. That'll be a great way to start great content where you don't have to be the focus. Um, And then we're going to talk about doing voiceovers too. So you don't always have to be on camera, but your voice can be there and you can guide people through things. But yes, BeLive.TV, excuse me, StreamYard and Zoom that you can go live on Facebook too. If you have a premium account, it's $14.99. You can bring other people along and don't be afraid to ask people. It's a great way to make content. Call up your vendors, call up your inspectors, ask them if they'd like to be interviewed 
it's, you know, it's COVID time. People want as much advertisement for their business as possible. So that's a great way to start making content. When we start talking about ads, you can go on Google right now. Did you know that you can look at every single ad from every real estate agent or anybody in your business right now and see exactly what their ads are, see what their audiences are, know exactly what they're doing? Like, let's say, you know, the Duncan Duo, they've got large ad budget. They put out ads quite often. Go to search, at, go to Google and search in ads library then go to Facebook and then it'll have categories and you go to real estate, type in anyone that you're interested in seeing what their ads are. It'll give you every one of their ads. None of it's hidden. You know exactly what they're doing. Duplicate it. Look at what they're doing in their small ads and, and just copy it. Don't, you know, look, I say copy it. You can talk to your lawyers and you can talk to your brokers and if they have something different, wonderful. But Ryan Owens at Milestone Title says, go ahead and use it. I give you permission. Now, you know, if you trust somebody else, ask them. But for me, I say if something's working, put your personality into it. Use it. Copy it. You don't always have to come up with your own content. Um, is that we, we don't need to talk about this much. It, this is pretty obvious. YouTube's huge. You need to start using YouTube, especially with those who are flocking down to our state. We are hot. We're the hottest state in the world right now. Everyone's coming to Florida and especially Tampa Bay. Use YouTube to create content. What's going on in Tampa Heights? What's going on in Lutz? What, what, what top things to do in Lando Lake so that when people are searching in Google, which is tied to YouTube, they'll get wind of your content and then you can have a great call to action. Call me, Ross Vega at the Team 54 Realty. You're going to start getting leads doing that. Create content about your farm that you are in, your area, because when people are in New York, in California and Michigan and all these places that are flocking down to Florida, they're going to be looking up these things. Why not pop up? Why not create some long form content about your area and become the ambassador of your area so that people are knowing that you're the man to call or the woman. Facebook, of course, LinkedIn. Guys, if you're not using LinkedIn, it's a super great opportunity right now. You might think, you know, I'm business to consumer, but there is a lot of power in, in stretching out your network right now, which is easily able to be done on LinkedIn. It probably has the best organic ability to build up an audience right now than anything other than TikTok. Because you can get like a quarter of a million views just by you know acting like you're shaving off your eyebrows right now. <laughs> Instagram, use that Canva trick that I told you about. Turning some of your pictures into video. And on the next class when we do more video editing stuff and digital marketing, I'll definitely show you guys hands on how to do that type of stuff. Uh, I already said high organic reach. TikTok, I was kind of not wanting to get into TikTok because it seems silly. And I was like, they're not going to get any business from this. But what you can't, it's amazing. Once you start getting your For You page, bringing relevant content, you can get a lot of eyes on your content. You can, you can research what other people are doing, get a lot of fun ideas. But the problem is it's addictive. If you want your time, you better watch yourself. You better be like really disciplined because you're going to get caught in the scroll on TikTok more than anything in the world because there is just great content everywhere. But use it for research. Create your own TikToks. Do a dance if you got to and, and put your hashtags in real estate and all that good stuff. But there's great ideas on TikTok. And again, Leonardo da Vinci said, good artists copy, great artists steal. I don't know what that means, but I feel he's also feeling like I do. If you see great content out there, take it. Make it your own. You don't have to be like the originator of every great idea. And it, speaking of TikTok, that's what they encourage. On TikTok, they encourage you to copy and redo everything. Everything you see is redone. You're probably never going to see the original video of anything. It happens sometimes, but it is people copying other people. It's literally why the platform's there, to copy their sounds, their videos, and everything and redo them. I want you guys to do that. So we, you've heard about this before, video, the brand videos, representing what your brand is, which, by the way, Team 54 to me is secondary. You are your brand powered by, in conjunction with, uh, under or what, over, side by side with Team 54, but you are your brand. So making videos, is that okay? That, sound, that sounds good. <laughs> Make brand videos that are showing off your specific brand, which is you. Event videos. If you go to an event, record it. Tell people where you're at. Show the people that you're, you know, working in your neighborhood or your um, uh, great, great way to create content is through events. Educational videos that answer the public.com that the frequently asked questions. Uh, edu I'm still surprised. And I don't know about you guys that people still don't know that you don't need 20% down to buy a home. 
How is that possible? You would think because you're in the business, you have all this knowledge that people are aware. They're not. Make educational video. Even the smallest things that you think that people already know, they still don't know that you don't need 20% down to buy a home. That's, that's wild. Is anybody else surprised by that? Listing videos, customer testimonial videos. This is something that I do uh, at Milestone Title Services. So when you're closing a deal with us and you have a great experience, I'd be more than happy to set up make them all warm and fuzzy with a bomb bomb video, you know, introducing myself, saying, hey, I just got a few questions for you before you're closing tomorrow. I was hoping since you had such a great experience that you would put a few words down for your real estate agent and then I'll give that to you guys to use for your social media and your, uh, your websites and whatnot. Community videos, which I, I have one right here that I made of my, my own community. This was that video that I wanted you guys to do. And I don't know if you guys know how to do ads, but if you can at least boost it, we can talk about ads later, but the custom list of home ad. Make a video putting out to your network and say, hey, I want to help you all. Tell me what you spend on rent. Tell me what you spend on rent. And I, as someone who has access to all the newest listings on the market, I'm going to send you a custom list of homes that would be equal to what you're paying in rent or less. Make a video about that you're going to send to your network. Anybody who just simply sends you their rent payment. You don't need any more specific information. Then you can give them a custom list of home ads. You can do a little bit of calculation. This will drum up some business. Say, I'm going to send you fresh homes that are on the market in literally the lowest interest rate environment the earth's ever seen. Low inventory, but luckily you got me because I have access to everything that hits the market just like that. Send me your rent payment and I'm gonna send you a custom list of homes ad. Put that out there. I guarantee you this is going to be a great way to get people to reach out to you and say, hey, I'd like to get that custom list. Add them to the database, maybe even sell a home. Is anybody gonna try that? Could somebody do that? Custom list, come on, come on, you can do it. <laughs> Make this video. Custom list of homes. I want you to send me your rent payment. I'm gonna send you a custom list of homes. Uh, that'll fit that or or even my less my Ooh. I want to show We've got you the audio so, much fun. Whether we're meeting with so anyway this is just a video if you live in a community don't be afraid to go around and film the amenities in your home now I don't know if you know how to do a voiceover yet but I can definitely show you how to do that as well we're gonna come back really soon and show you some of these editing tricks and whatnot right from your phone but I did the basketball court all the amenities um, so that when people are moving into that neighborhood, I'm able to be seen. Anyway, we're going to move on. That's Heritage Isles in New Tampa, by the way. Um, okay. I don't know how long you guys think that your videos need to be, but they can be, Facebook recommends as little as 15 seconds. Can you do 15 seconds? You can do 15 seconds. I mean, you talk about the two minute, three minute, five minute, 10 minute videos. That's a lot. It, it, it's, it's crippling. It's like, oh, I got to talk for that long. I got to make content for that long. Facebook's recommended around 15 seconds as much as possible. And at an event in Brooklyn, Facebook shared that four, almost half the value in a video is delivered in the first three seconds. So don't do the bumpers where your logo's just flying down from the clouds and you got like stars popping out of it. Don't do that anymore. Just get right to the pain point. Say, hey, have you, have you, have you ever, I don't know, uh, are you getting tired of the dogs barking at the apartment? <laughs> you know, something like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting sick of my neighbors. Offer him a solution after that. But we, we'll talk about this. Well, I don't know if we should do this now. We want to create a hook. That first three seconds is what we're going to call a hook. So instead of, instead of being really salesy up front or uh, think about that first three seconds when you're making a video, what could really capture their attention, whether it might be a prop, maybe you have something, or maybe you go directly into something that might be painful for people. When you start talking about pain immediately, people want to tune in. Now you're going to need to offer a solution after that, but it's a great hook to say, Hey, have you ever experienced this? Well, I, listen to this video. And I'm going to show you how you can overcome that or how I have helped clients, uh, overcome that obstacle or whatever it might be. Start off with a challenge or start off with a puppy. Hey, I got a puppy here. Watch my video. All right, now I got something to say. Well, don't throw the puppy, but you know, something cute or something at the beginning is important. First three seconds are crucial in your video. So get a hook. What's an idea of a hook? What would you guys think of something you could put in like the first three seconds that'll get people to, 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 to stop the deadly scroll? What's something you could put there? What's some audience ideas? Maybe 
me with my three kids. People love kids. I love kids. I get the most likes whenever I have pictures of my Don't kids. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah, kid, kid, kids definitely. Uh, I get a lot of likes on the kids, anyway, too. I need to use them more often. <laughs> Other people's kids. You can borrow kids. Dogs. Dogs, yeah. Absolutely. Does, everybody, does anybody here have pets? No pets? No pets, no kids. Oh, God bless you. You, you, that's why you're so bright and vibrant. Look at you, you're, yeah. look at you, you're glowing. Now I know why. Well rested. Yes. So I, Please. Um, so I like, obviously we want to put as much as we can as far as real estate and all that, but I also found from other people, and I personally like, um, I was doing a video just about you, who you are, like your regular life. Like people are being associated with you. Like, okay, he's just another person just like me. I think sometimes if I bombard with someone about real estate, yeah. it may not relate to him, especially if not in the... Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. But if I can do something like coffee or... Yes. You know, on my dog or... Yes. You know, I'm here about whatever may be the case. Yes. I think people might relate more to you. Yes. Sprinkle the real estate stuff in there. Like, okay, I can... Yes. Do Nobody relates to a real estate agent. We need to stop thinking like real estate agents. I was actually getting there, but you two, you guys are good in the back row there. Uh, that's an excellent point. Yeah, your, your actual personal interests are very, very, imp- you can build great audiences around that. Your pet lights or your, your interest in uh, playing pool or collecting cards or, or, or whatever it might be. Yes, when you're watching a show on Netflix, imagine... Okay, you're watching, or let's say back in the cable days, you're watching your show. It's like 20 minutes of great program. It's your favorite show. And there's about three minutes of commercials after that, right? What I see a lot is that people on their Facebook are doing 20 minutes of commercials, and then they've got three minutes of that great content show. We want to kind of have it like that. Let's put the, the ratio of 20 minutes, that large portion of our Facebook news feed and our, our social media as those things that we're really interested in. Our kids, what we're doing in the community, what our interests are, whether that be even, don't be afraid, whatever you are, definitely put that out. Whether it's you're a spiritual person, you like to meditate on rocks, you like to stack rocks, you like to, uh, I don't know, whatever it might be, put your interests out there and then... After you're getting content, because like Ross said, I'm getting a lot of likes with my kids on there. Put your kids on there and then hit them them with an advertisement. Hey, I just want to remind you guys that uh, I'm in real estate. Man, inventory is low. I want to let you know I got a custom list of home ad for you right now. If you send me your rent, I'm going to send you a custom list of homes. Boom. And because you've been getting those likes by putting things that you're interested in, because ultimately people don't really care about the real estate stuff, okay? We got to get good at, at making them care when they need to care and fostering those relationships and whatnot. But they're interested in what you're doing in your life. I'm glad you brought that up. Don't be the person that's constantly posting about real estate on your social media. It's a mistake. Nobody likes it. You don't even like it. Don't do it. And then when you've got, uh, when you've got some attention, then throw in those, those great video pieces that you made and that content. But make sure you do it like that Netflix. 20 minutes of your favorite programming your life, your, personal, your personality, and then those few minutes of those great videos that are highly, highly attractive and create an emotional connection and are favored by the algorithms on social media. Video is, is king. Um, now, this is something, again, when we start making more content, and especially for your Facebook business pages, Facebook has shared that you get the most organic reach now because you've got to pay to play now but you can get organic reach by having three minute long videos that are really engaging. And it's not just because it's three minutes. It's because it is engaging. It's because people are sticking around and watching that. And the great thing is when I come back, cause I can't give you it all today, Facebook creator studio. Are you guys familiar with this? Oh my goodness. Facebook creator studio will allow you to schedule all of your posts, all of your videos for both Instagram and your Facebook business page. So you can, it's right on your Facebook. When you, when you go up there, you're, well, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's on mobile actually, but on, on the desktop, on your computer, you're going to be able to go to the left side and, and, and when you go to your business page, on the left side, it'll say Facebook Creator Studio or you can go facebook.com forward slash creator studio and you can upload all your videos at once, schedule them throughout the week so that you don't even have to touch it. And then throughout the week, you can start doing random stories when you're at an inspection or you're hanging with a client or you're, you're talking about the custom list of homes ad. So you can do that off the cuff type stuff on your stories and all of that. 
while already having your post ready to go. I got Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I got a video coming out. You never have to touch it. Facebook Creator Studio, you can schedule all your posts for Instagram and Facebook. Now, you have to link your Instagram up as a business account for it to connect with your Facebook business page. So if you want to take it off personal and go into the settings, change it to a, um, a business account, and then you're going to be able to use Facebook Creator Studio to communicate and schedule in between the two of them. So you don't need a, you don't need a third-party scheduler out there. You can use Facebook Creator Studio for that. Um, and it also lets you put a bunch of videos in. So let's say you have a day you know because of not time management, because of energy management, you know I'm going to have some energy on Thursday because that's when the kid's off here or I'm, able, I'm actually, for some reason, I get to sleep on Wednesday nights and Thursday I'm going to have some energy. Create a bunch of content on that day, upload it on the weekend, and have it set out for the whole week ahead and you never even have to touch it again. Facebook Creator Studio. I know I'm throwing a bunch of stuff. Um, I've got a first branded 1554 Realty here. Save the best for first. Put your best imagery up front. That first three seconds that we talked about, you know, the, the thing was always save the best for last. No, save the best for first. And by the way, Zillow gives you a great opportunity right now. You can use the first 15 seconds and the last, but we're always going to use the first because save the best for first. Zillow, if you have homes that are on there or you're using Zillow, you can do personal branding now for the first 15 seconds. This is crucial for anybody using Zillow. They didn't allow you to do that before. Or you had to have a professional videographer that was Zillow certified, but now anybody can do it. So if you have Zillow, use 15 seconds to introduce yourself as a real estate agent. Maybe give them a website to go to or something like that. Just an opportunity because Zillow is the most looked at real estate website in the world. You have an opportunity to have 15 full seconds of giving them your branding. So just kind of that, that hook thing and using the first parts of our videos to really uh, get that attention, whether you're holding the puppy or you're, you're, you're bringing up that pain point. Always check your videos too. Most, if not all, everybody's looking on, well, not all, because I definitely use my desktop, but most people are using the mobile to watch any and all of your videos. So once you post a video, look how it looks on your phone. Kind of take a look at it and, and check and make sure that it looks good on the mobile phone, because that's where most people are watching it. Uh, sound off. I already mentioned that earlier about most of the videos being watched with sound off and using captions. Clips on iOS is a great uh, start for that. This is one thing, a, a quick way to start using video. I wanted to bring this up. You're going to a listing presentation or you're, you're, you're maybe you're going to a listing presentation or, and there's, there's other people that are going to be interviewed and whatnot. Instead of using a text to say, hey, I'm coming, I'll see you soon, and whatnot, just, just boring old text, send them a video. Send them a video of yourself. Now, what time is it? We're... Okay, so I want to start wrapping this up. But I do want you guys to know the power of what can happen when you're meeting somebody out at Starbucks or whatnot for that list, or, or maybe a buyer's consultation, or you're going to a listing presentation, showing up on their phone and sending a video, especially through iMessage, really easy. If you have Android, use uh, like... Um, Oh, what is it? The Google Photos. You can put your videos in there and then send it. And the reason being is that you can have a full HD quality that they'll be able to receive. But send them a video. Say, hey, it's me. I just want to put a, I just want to put a face to the name. Really looking for. Have your energy good. Smile. And let's say, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you. I, I'm, I'm Ross. I'll be seeing you here in a few minutes. I'll be right on time. If you need anything prior, let me know. I'd be happy to bring you anything you need. But I look forward to seeing you at 3. That's going to establish a connection right there. You're already winning. Because the other agents aren't doing that. Show up as a person. Rehumanize the business. Show up as a person. Um, okay. Building trust. That's one of the biggest reasons that we're doing this video thing is because we are... I want to go past that. I'll send you guys this too. Just some ideas on moments to capture attention. Before the listing presentation that I just went over. Warming up cold leads. I don't know how many agents that have utilized things like BombBomb or Loom, which I want you guys to know about, which is a video email client that's absolutely free, and you can start using that to do screen capture. So showing them the neighborhood on Google Earth, showing them uh, how to fill out an application or, or how to fill out a uh, uh, a contract, or use Dot Loop or something, and you can show up and and use Loom or BombBomb, which costs money. But Loom's free. But anyway, when you're sending out information to cold leads that just aren't responding, try sending them a video. And here's a power tip. Use a dry erase board. 
and put their first name on there. Hi, John, the lead's name. Put it up there for that thumbnail. Loom's going to give you the opportunity to have a thumbnail be the first thing that's seen. When they see, oh, this video is made for me, how much more likely do you think that they are to open that? Not everyone's going to do it, but much more likely to open it when they see that this is a personalized video for me specifically. This isn't eight different agents just sending me something from their CRM trying to annoy me. This is somebody actually making a video specifically for me. Happy birthdays. Much more powerful. Text, happy birthday. Video, hey, it's me. I just want to wish you the happiest of birthdays. Which one's better? The video. I'm already going to decide for you. It's the video. Um, show people how to do things. Instead of having them say, would you please leave me a review? Why don't you show them how to do it? Why don't you show them how to go to Google, exactly how to do it, maybe even give them a little bit of tip on what they could say. Yeah, don't leave it up to them. Just say, hey, you know what? You could put this and this and that. You don't have to, but at least showing them what they can do. Instructions on dropping escrows off the milestone. You can do that too. You can show them where we're at. Instructions, invite to an event. And like I was talking about earlier, frequently asked questions. Uh, we'll get through this. Utilize Facebook Messenger. Email's not dead, but the open rate of Facebook Messenger for your videos and text to your clients, over 84% compared to less than a quarter on your emails. Utilize Facebook Messenger and the video features on there too. I'm speeding through here because I'm going to get you guys out of here. Look at the difference. Look at the emotional connection you can get from this being your face from sending out these emails. This is not personal. This is not doing it anymore. This is not encouraging people to know who you are and establish a connection. This is. This is absolutely. Uh, Loom. Loom Loom.com. Check that out today. It's free. You can start sending off recorded your screen shares. You can record your face while you're giving them, uh, showing them a screen share, or you can just do a video of yourself and you can send those via uh, email. So you can start using video email right away. They're quicker to do and they're not going to confuse your email. I don't know if you're like me, but I'm horrible at writing emails. Someone reads my like, oh, he got attitude. No, I don't. <laughs> when I do a video, no one ever says that because they know how I feel. Oh, you got an attitude on your emails too? Loom. Loom.com. They won't misconstrue you anymore because, and it's quicker. It's quicker. Okay, uh, get rid of bonbon because that's fifty bucks a month. I was always trying to build a connection Here, an agent. Of trust with my clients. These are people that are meeting me for the first time, and I typically don't get to meet them face to face. And sending an email or making a phone call wasn't truly building a deep connection and trust. No, with the it's client not. itself. And when I was able to send video and show them who I really was and let them see a face with a name and really show them my appreciation and, and excitement to be working Those with your them. Me to develop a deeper, deeper trust with those clients. And my retention within my business was much higher when I was using video, uh, which was impactful for me. Uh, like a lot of people. One of thousands of... Uh, do something for the first time, you're really not good at Remember, it. you don't have to be great uh, to start, but you have to start, start to be great. I don't care if you look like this guy more more. or you sound like this woman. Ross, video. It doesn't. You look how you look. You'd never not show up to a client. You think you sound like Fran Drescher from the Nanny? That's an old reference. But uh, <laughs> I was thinking of annoying voices. Does that mean you would never meet with a? Oh, I, I clicked the button. But he said the same thing I said earlier. Would you never? Would you not meet with a client because of how you look and sound? Uh, we already talked about sending text to video a little bit. But that's it. That's about it. My silly self down here. I forgot to mention the ring light. It's part of the equipment. That's another thing. It's about a hundred bucks, maybe even less, that you can put your phone right in the middle of that or your camera and have great lighting. That's another important part of this video that process. Attached to like that, or yep. the whole thing came together. This thing, this thing, you you'll have um, it slides right in there, and you'll have a, a cell phone feature, so you can get right in front of that. And ha dark videos suck. They stink. So this is going to allow you to have your phone right here and to be able to communicate, be able to be seen. In all your full glory. And that was my last piece of equipment. I totally forgot about it. But that's about the end of this. Um, next class, you all need to be here on this next one. We're going to talk about mobile video editing so you can easily edit your videos, add titles, add transitions, add music, uh, add call to actions, clickable links, all of that right from your phone. I highly recommend that video leap that I talked about earlier. Um, and then we can start talking about some ads. We can talk about a Canva class, a variety of things. But we'll, we'll start getting more and more hands-on uh, with what we're doing moving forward. 
soon, soon, I'm going to talk to Megan. We'll get it done as, as soon as possible. Um, anybody that's got to go, feel free. If you've got questions, I'd love to answer some questions. Anybody? Real quick, what is something that you... So, like, one of the things I struggle with is when I make a video in the field, mm-hmm. you can't really just send someone a 20-minute video or a 15-minute video that yeah. you film the house. So, what's yep. the best way? Because what I've been doing is uploading it to YouTube and sending them the link. Yep. That's been a lot easier, but yep. Google Photos. Now you say you don't you don't think that you need the full twenty minute video. Do you need no, the full twenty I, minutes? No, like if I do a house tour, it's going to be at least right. twenty minutes. Yeah. So, um, what's the best way to get that to them? Um, the best way, to, what you're doing, if it needs if it needs to be twenty minutes, that means you're really getting deep. Because well, this is a house walkthrough, so like they're yep. right, they're thinking about buying this house. So this yes. isn't just like a hey, could you go check this out? If they're going to make a purchase, sight yeah. unseen, it has to be a pretty detailed walkthrough. I mean, I can get them down to. Yeah. 11 to 12 minutes, but that's yeah. maybe 1,800 square foot house if the yep. house is over 2,000. I'm, I'm learning because I, I just did some, some video showing and I just went to see how long were mine. Yeah, yours are way longer than mine. I'm probably just running through it. So here's the thing though, right? Mine are like mm-hmm. five to six minutes. They could be five to six minutes. I'm listening. I want to show you something. But if you expect them to actually be able to purchase that house and whatnot, that's it's not going to be a five or six minute video. It's, you may have to go back. There's things that are rushed through. So if it's someone that's really serious, now look, if, if it's just someone that hey, give me an idea of what this house is like, I could do a six or seven minute video. But if you want me to walk through, tell you what kind of you know features there are. I don't want your YouTube channel because I want to. I want to see oh, how detailed. Well, I want to compare. But you can, they didn't hear my voice, and I don't like that. <laughs> well, I don't like that on video. You, so. you can check my videos to see what, what I've done because I think it sounds horrible. No, yeah, I'll send them to you. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Mine are unlisted, so. Okay. Um, but yeah, mine are public. Yeah. Oh. That's interesting. I, I just, you know. Tampa Bay Virtual Caravan. If anyone's got a listing and like to be part of Tampa Bay Virtual Caravan, we have sponsors that put ad dollars behind our really three to five minute walkthrough videos, and I film the first three uh, moving forward. So I'm going to create a great walkthrough, edited three to five minutes. We just sold a $1.4 million property with like a five minute video. Um, very purposeful, showing in the room, showing off you most importantly. Houses are important. You are, you're going to be there after the sale. So Tampa Bay Virtual Caravan, we aim for about 50,000 views on those, and we get a variety of agents from a variety of brokerages, not anything specific, and then we have our sponsors from title and, and, and mortgage uh, and insurance as well. Uh, we're aiming for 50,000 views in this most recent one. Older ones had like between 30 and 40,000, uh, but if anybody wants to have a walkthrough done, please let me know. But just what you're doing, if you've got 20-minute videos and you, you really want to show off the details and your clients love that, just keep sending them those links from YouTube. That's a, that's a great way to do it. Nothing more needs to be done. And by the way, I'll show you some editing. So if you guys want to get into podcasts and you're making uh, longer form videos, I'm going to show you how to strip the audio from any video that you make that's long and then be able to instantly put that into a podcast. So you just strip the audio and you instantly got a podcast. So, and then, and then, then you've got three, four, or five other pieces of videos because you're going to chop up that longer form. Podcast, full long form video, and then multiple videos for other platforms.